On the Justice Court, the plaintiff, one to defend, is in court to dispute the claim of his girlfriend, Folashade Jokotade, that he is the father of her baby. All right. Court in session. Honorable Judge Fumi Asaolu presiding. Please be seated. Your Honor, this case is between one to defense and Jokotadi for Lashadi. Parties one. Thank you, Aki. You're welcome. One two. Jokotadi is not here. You brought her to court. Yes, ma'am. He's not here. Can you briefly narrate to me? Okay. Um, Why you are here? Okay. I bring a case between me and Polasha uh, de Esther. Um, I was dating her with the intention to marry her. But um, along the line, after I've met her parents, tell them that I want her for marriage, and they have agreed. Though they told me that um, um, Falasha is a Yoruba, well, I'm not. That uh, in Yoruba, they do meet our pastors for prayer before um, approving any marriage, which we went, they took me to the uh, pastor. I met the pastor, I introduced myself to him, and he said, I should give him one week for the prayer, that uh, he will give me the results. Then after the one week, the Falasha the mother called me that um, the pastor has prayed that the result is out. And I went there, the pastor said that, yes, we can, we can marry, that there's no problem. And um, along the line, she was cheating on me. And I cautioned her that, please, why are you cheating on me? After you have taken me to your parents, I've introduced myself to your parents that I want to marry you. And they have said yes. And they have explained some of the things that uh, Yoruba do pay on a lady in order to marry her. That why are you doing this to me? She boldly told me that uh, those guys first me propose love to her. I was like, ah, why this? But your parents didn't tell me this now. And you yourself, you didn't tell me this. See how long we have gone. That is not right. She said, eh, that day we are inside my car. That um, if I mess up, she will break my car. I was like, ah, do you know how much I bought this car? Why will you do that? And then said, okay, fine. I'm going to tell your mother. She said, no, that I shouldn't tell her mother. Then along the line, we are driving. I, she then told me that, oh, she don't want me. That by the way, it's her mother that is forcing her to marry me. I said, is that the case? She said, yes. I said, well, fine. If that should be the case, um, I don't want the love again. Let's go on our different uh, ways. I don't want you again. She said, okay. Um, like three months um, later, when I called her, thinking that maybe she must have um, think very well so that we can uh, start the relationship. Ah, I saw her on that day. Her, pray, uh, her tummy was up. I was like, ah. Um, I called her babe. I told her that you are pregnant. Who did it? She sent me. I said, me? I said, how? She said, it's me. I said, no, it's not me. She was crying that day. I said, don't cry. We are in public. People know me. So don't cry. I asked her to come inside my car. I opened the door for her. I was having some food stuff for her. I gave it to her to eat to relax. I bought her some fruits. We drove to my house. When we get to my house, um, she wanted to cook. I told her not to cook. I cook everything. I serve her. I still ask her gently. She says, me. <laughs> I say, why is it that my God has not revealed to me all my people at home? They haven't told me. She says, me. I told her that, please, it's not every sex that leads to, um, to pregnant. I bodily told her this. I say, have you consulted the other guy? She said, yes. I say, ah. Middle of the night, she wake me up. She was crying. That do I want the baby to be fatherless? I say, ah, I clean my face. I still not uh, convinced that that pregnancy was for me. So throughout her pregnancy, I was not there. Sometimes she would call on phone. I would tell her that no. But I do send her money because um, when we are dating, I place her on a 50,000 um, monthly allowance because she was not working there. I was giving her this money. And sometimes if we meet one-on-one, -on -one, I will still give her. I don't mind that, oh, you are on a monthly um, allowance. Let me know what I give to you. I keep giving to her. Then she born, I was working in Lekki. She called me that, oh, she has uh, 
she has born a baby boy. I, I told her congratulations. She said that the baby looks like me. I said, okay, give me one week. I will come and see. Then uh, after one week, I went there, I cooked, bought some other things, drove myself to her place. <laughs> I see the baby, the baby was very small. And it has never been um, in, my, in my family that a newborn baby should be small, that you can even carry it to your palm. <laughs> I was like, ah. I can't see my resemblance here. There's none of my resemblances on, on this board. She said, ah, that children do change. That immediately you born a baby, after some times the baby will change. I said, well, fine, no problem. After two weeks, um, the, the, her parents, her family called me that I impregnated their daughter. I didn't show up that why they were faulting me. I was like, I explained to them that uh, your daughter was cheating on me. They cautioned me that why didn't I tell them when I noticed it? I said, ah, she was like, she wants to cause damage. And a person like me is the car that I use on Uber. Um, I'm sustaining my life on the, on the car. If she is to cause damage on it, where will I go? So that was just it. And then I explained to her that when she was pregnant, the three months, as she mentioned my name, I told her that, okay, if you insist that this pregnancy is for me, let's go to court or a, or a police station to get a formal report that when you born the baby, we will do a DNA test. If this is my own, I will take the baby and I will still be paying your monthly allowance. If you want to marry me, fine. If you don't want to mar marry me, when you bre finish breastfeeding the baby, I will collect the baby from you and you can go with your life. Well, I think uh, after three months, they then mount pressure on me that, oh, we should do the DNA test. That if that baby is my own, I'm going to pay them all the money they spent on her when she was uh, pregnant. Till the delivery, the naming, because they do the naming, they didn't even call me. The door, as of then, I've already seen the baby. And I still strongly believe that the baby is not mine. The plaintiff wants to defend claims for Lashade was in a relationship with other men when they were dating. So... He quitted the relationship, but Falashade returned after three months with a pregnancy. One to wants an assurance that the baby belongs to him, but Falashade is not present in court. Judge Fumi orders a DNA test to determine the paternity of the baby. She rules after the break. So you wouldn't mind us conducting a DNA test? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm free. Okay, so... If she can show up. All right. So the legal team will reach out to her and will conduct a DNA test. Because she wrote her response there, but there's no need for me to read it because the bottom line is the DNA test. Yes, ma'am. So since you are ready, they'll reach out to her so that they'll make the baby, she'll make the baby available when necessary to conduct the DNA test. So this matter, on this your matter, um, my ruling is that a DNA should be conducted in the baby. To determine the paternity of the baby, whether it's the plaintiff's biological, biological child or not. All right. All right.